So guys, here we are again in our MC Eternal world. And I have to say, today is that day. I did post a poll over on my uh, my community section here on YouTube. If you guys are unfamiliar with that, you can find it by just going to my channel and up in the top search bar there, you'll be able to see several different sections. Um, and one of those is community you can click that. And I, that's where I actually post a lot of informative stuff. It's where I can post pictures, I can post text, I can post um, GIFs, I can post all kinds of different stuff there. Um, and one of those is polls, and I asked you guys, are, do you want me to go ahead and move on and find another mod pack or continue to play MC Eternal for a little bit longer? And the majority of you guys said that you wanted me to uh, to definitely find a new mod pack to play. And I'm, I'm totally fine with that. Um, we have put, or I've, I have invested over um, in this pack over 84 hours or so into this pack alone. Um, you guys don't see all the time that I, I spend prior to making a video. So there is a lot of stuff that does go on. Um, like just today, I just kind of wanted to hop in and I was like, you know what? I could probably go and find, a, you know, some more inventory pets just by breaking some trees. And I did. And I ended up getting the Illuminati pet for doing that. So yeah, I just got a Illuminati pet just right out of a tree. Um, I also um, ended up finding the Juggernaut pet, which is insane. We already had the Sun pet, which we also got from a tree. Um, and then I also have uh, this one as well, which uh, is kind of cool. I wanted to see what this one actually does. Let's just summon. Oh yeah, let's just summon some minions for you. Look at those guys. Are those co not cool or what? I've actually, I've never seen these guys before. But anyways, what the Illuminati pet will do, um, since I do have it up here, it will let me summon one random item from the game. Unless the config has been modified. Um, I don't think the config has been modified, even though I haven't checked. I have checked in other packs. Um, but what we can do is right here, it says right here, um, the Illuminati pet says true invisibility. But if you sneak right click, it's supposed to give you a random item usually. Or at least that's that's one of its effects. It, it's supposed to be. And it uses an emerald nugget. And it has a two minute cooldown. And unfortunately I can't see the... Yeah, there's the cooldown. Um, I was supposedly supposed to get an item. I don't see the item that I got. But yeah, unless that's, that's disabled. That feature might actually be disabled in this pack. Um, from the looks of it, I think it is. Um, so I guess we just get invisibility. So unfortunately that is gone. The juggernaut is really cool. It gives you invulnerability, making you perfectly like uh, you, making you a tank for one whole minute. Um, and I think this has to be right clicked as well. Yeah. And like right now we, we're invisible <laughs> from the Luani pet. And right now we're also um, invulnerable, which means we won't take any damage. For a whole minute. Oh boy. And that was the Illuminati pet making some weird noises. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't give you an item, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyways, that was some of the stuff that I did uh, I did off camera. Like I do some some like grainy stuff. It just required me to just break some trees off camera. And that's some stuff that you guys don't really see. Um, I also wanted to go ahead and uh, talk a little bit about what we've done so far. Bosses, we have pretty much destroyed every boss I could find. Um, these two bosses here are a little bit more difficult to find as you kind of have to just come upon them happenstance. Like you, you kind of just have to come upon them, um, while you're adventuring and I just haven't happened to find them. Um, they are in specific biomes from what I've seen. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, just haven't really seen them. Um, so all of those, I mean, I'm, I'm super happy with what I've done. I didn't really want to go through all the between lands bosses as I have been in the between lands in the past, I kind of want to go through the between lands um, in a pack where it's like right from the start. And I do have a buddy of mine who's actually working on a pack from what I've heard where you do start in the between lands. I think that'd be a cool thing to, to do. Um, also, I didn't really get in the Wrath mod. I know a lot of you guys wanted me to get in the Wrath mod. If you want to check out the Wrath mod, I think Direwolf20 uh, went really deep into the Wrath mods. Um, so I recommend checking him out um, if you guys do want to see some of the rats stuff. Um, I haven't got into it yet. Um, I really need to set down and like learn the mod myself before I go just like telling you guys wrong things. Um, cause I don't know that mod very well and I know it's a very large mod. 
Um, and we never finished the ram, but other than that, we've pretty much done everything. I couldn't actually find a guardian tower. Um, I've been trying to find them. I don't know where the guardian towers are, or maybe I'm just missing them. Um, but I haven't found one where the, the thing is on the top that it's talking about, um, to be able to do that. So I wasn't able to do that one as well, but pretty much everything well, we've done. And I've also beat this guy, which kind of happened off camera, but it didn't show up on here for some reason. Um, because I had to do it when I was a vampire in this pack. So we've pretty much done just about everything. And as far as introduction, we've done 50% of the quests. I feel that, you know, the majority of these on the outside are, you know, the food stuff. Eh, I don't normally get into food too much. It'd be kind of boring to watch that. Um, this mod was kind of out there for me as well. Um, and then, yeah, this other stuff. So uh, we never did this. Put a jack-o'-lantern on top of Haybow, then right-click the middle of it with a undying heart. Um... And I think we ended up getting an Undying Heart. So yeah, I wanted to kind of uh, just do a couple of things that like we never messed with um, here as we start to end this series. Unfortunately, um, let's see. Hay bells. Is it? I guess we build it like an Iron Golem, and then you smack it a couple times. I'm also gonna put this world up for download for you guys. So it's gonna be another thing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be starting a new Let's Play very soon. I'm super excited about that. All right, let's see what this does. We've the Undying Heart on it. Okay. And we're best friends, apparently. So it just, yeah, it just, it just requires a... Okay, how about you back away? You we'll hop over here. Oh, man, you're in the block. I need to break the block. There we go. Well, you're the best friend, Mr. Scarecrow. Wow, you are absolutely horrifying. But, still my best friend. And it's going to follow me, isn't it? Do you sit? Do you stay? No, you just follow me. So, anyways, we have that guy now. Um, <laughs> is it just going to wander off? Oh my, did it already go? Did, oh, there it is. Did you teleport? Oh, you do teleport. Okay. So, anyways, um, as far as statistics go, let's take a look at the statistics. Games quit 51 times. Uh, some of those were actually crashes. Um, and time played, here it is, 3.5 days worth of gameplay. That equates to about uh, 84 hours worth of in-game time. And none of the time has been spent AFKing, I can I can definitely tell you that. Uh, this isn't really a pack where I spent a lot of time AFKing in it. Um, so yeah, how many times we've died, I think is in this list somewhere. I know it is tracked elsewhere. Um, we never really used an Elytra, even though we had an Elytra. We've jumped a lot, that's for sure. Not dropped very many items. Um, I've dealt a lot of damage, that is for sure. And we've killed a lot of mobs. Almost 2,000 mobs have been killed in this pack. So yeah, we've definitely been hard at work. I uh, busted my butt on this pack. I really enjoyed it so far. And uh, for those of you that are catching this kind of later after I've already played this, um, the good thing is, is this pack is continuing to be updated. Um, the pack dev, pack dev did reach out to me and say, hey, I am uh, currently working on a, a major update to the pack. And uh, that's apparently going to be out fairly soon. So super excited uh, for those of you who will plan on uh, playing that. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get around to it. We might live stream it. We might come back to this world during a live stream and just mess around. That could be something I could always do. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm definitely trying to get back into the live streaming uh mode <laughs> per se um i did post on the community thing about uh the shed that i uh i got um well i i've had it for over a year i've actually been working out of a shed for over a year but when we moved it took a while for that shed to show up like for me to be able to get it moved over here um it's just been so wet where i live that uh, we weren't able to get a truck to come pick it up and transfer it over um but we did get it to finally get it, get it moved over. Now I got to get the electric hooked to it uh, and also get my ethernet hooked all to it. I've already got the conduit and everything for it. So that should be happening soon. Um, so man, this, this video turned into an update video, didn't it? Um, but anyways, <laughs> if you guys are watching this in the future and you look at that date on the time the video was published, you're like, what is he talking about? What is going on? Um, but anyways, yeah, that, that's all happening right now, so hopefully the live stream will be back up soon. Um, I'll be able to pump out more videos. I plan on Monday doing Terraria and 
the uh, modded Minecraft Let's Plays all at the same time, uh, publishing two videos a day if I can, if I can handle that and manage it. Uh, it is pretty difficult when you also live stream on top of that. So, anyways, guys, this has been awesome. Let's uh, let's look at a couple more things. Uh, the Batania, I'm super excited with the Batania. I love it. Um, this, we ended up getting quite a bit of stuff from too. Man, the enchanting made this pack so crazy as well. The fact that we were able to enchant so quickly, you know, due to a mob farm. And the dragons. This this pack made dragons a little bit difficult. Not as difficult as our Railcraft, but it definitely made them difficult and it felt balanced. This whole pack felt pretty balanced. Um, so I, I, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I think 84 hours is plenty of, of time to have invested into a pack. Um, and yeah, definitely paid off. We, we got a lot of stuff done. There's a lot of stuff. Maybe if you missed a couple episodes, like you, you probably missed a lot because of all the stuff we did every episode. We managed to fill this entire thing with, yeah, a lot. That is a lot of RF. 9.6 billion RF. Yep. That's quite a bit. Also this making our power. I, I always, I always make this and I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should make like two or three of them. And then I realize. You know what? Just one of them usually is enough for most things. <laughs> we didn't really get into everything this pack has to offer, that's for sure. Uh, but I have covered it in just about every other mod pack I've played. If there was a mod that I skipped out on in this Let's Play, it's because I did it in the last Let's Play. Um, oh my gosh, that makes such a weird noise. Um, so, when it when it comes to that, when, when I'm talking about that, it's the RF Tools Dimension. Um, we didn't really mess with that in this pack, even though I've messed with it in the last pack. So if you uh, if you haven't checked that out, you can always go back and check out the Crack Pack Let's Play, um, which we did a lot of technical stuff in. Um, but this one was kind of an adventure pack. And I think next pack, I want to try and uh, go adventure as well. So what I want you guys to do is let me know down in the comments what pack you would love to see me play. And if you have any recommendations on a particular pack, pack let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be checking that out. And Monday, we should have a new Let's Play coming guys that is monday and uh it'll man it yeah check the date on the video because if you're late well i'm sorry if this is like a year later and you're watching this well it's not my fault should have should have found me sooner anyways <laughs> with that all said guys i hope you enjoyed this let's play it has been fantastic um i've had a fantastic ride a lovely ride you guys have been absolutely awesome and uh all your support has been really amazing, especially those that uh, that uh, you know supported me over on Patreon, or they decided to support me over on Twitch. Both of those are fantastic. Also, everyone who decided to join the Discord, we have hit over ten thousand members on the Discord, and we did that while we were playing this let's uh, let's play. It, absolutely amazing. Um, we continue to grow every day. It's because you guys decide to click that subscribe button, and uh, I couldn't do it without you guys. So I hope to see you in the next let's play. And as always. Thanks for watching.